Well, for on this, let's talk to Toby James. He's Deputy Director of the Electoral Integrity Project in the UK. Well, thanks for joining us here on the programme. The government claims this is to crack down on voter fraud. Just how big an issue is this in the UK? It isn't really a big issue at all. Uh, so research from the Electoral Integrity Project, as well as from the universities of East Anglia and Newcastle, uh, has consistently shown that voter fraud in polling stations is something which is it's actually exceptionally rare. So there is the danger here that uh, some measures are going to be introduced that will have some side effects uh, for a problem that doesn't really exist in the first instance. Yeah. Well, there have been previous attempts by British governments to introduce a, a national identity card, but it doesn't seem the public has you know, any appetite for it. Why do you think that is? Perhaps it's a cultural aspect. We're not used to having um, a national identity card in the United Kingdom, whereas that's quite common uh, in other countries. Um, and that cultural difference is possibly quite important here in understanding why uh, the UK may struggle uh, in terms of introducing some form of uh, identity requirements at polling stations. And quite simply, people, um, not everyone necessarily has that available on them. Um, some research which actually the government has just published it itself uh, points to how 4% um, of the population doesn't have photographic identification uh, in which the individual is uh, recognisable. Now, 4% on the one hand, that doesn't sound like a huge amount because that means 90%, 96% do, but that, that actually does amount to a very considerable proportion of the population. That could be 1.9 million people. Um, in terms of the size of our electorate, who don't have that identification on, on, on polling day. So this represents a very significant um, threat to, to the integrity of elections. So, so why do organisations like your own then feel that this could disproportionately affect the outcome of elections? Well, there's lots of international research from political science that tends to show that when you introduce um, requirements for voter ID at polling stations, it makes... It means that people are less likely to be able to vote. Um, part of this is that perhaps they don't have that um, identification on them uh, on the day. Elections are really important for people like me that study elections. They're really important for the governments uh, whose uh, outcomes are determined by elections. It's, it makes sure whether they're in or out of office. Um, but for everyday citizens, um, it's not necessarily the first thing on their mind. So what's really important in terms of polling procedures, it, it's, it's accessible, uh, it's done in a way that makes sure that everybody actually can cast their vote. Uh, and certainly if, if the government is to go down this route, which it seems very uh, intent on doing, it needs to build into this ways of making sure that people can cast their vote uh, on election day, such as allowing people to vouch for them, which has been a practice in Canada, um, or perhaps allowing people just to bring their polling card, which everyone actually has access to. To, or maybe just to sign an avid day to say, yes, I am this person and um, I forgot my ID and I can perhaps bring that later on if there's some kind of issue here. Toby James, Director of the Electoral Integrity Project there in the UK on those plans to introduce voter IDs. Thanks for joining us.